NHL Super Agent Taylor Mackey joins us here on the line who represents the hottest, most anticipated prospect in years. Taylor, give us the 411 on the kid here. Hey, morning, James. Well, look, you may not believe this, but the kid's up here on Carter Lake. What? Pl playing pickup, yeah, with a bunch of other kids. Just, it's a beautiful day. Pricey pond hockey you got going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. But look, that's how much this kid loves the game, man. Well, just safety first up there. Now, of course. I, I got to ask you, we we've seen the scouting reports, we've seen the highlights, but we know about the player. But tell me more about the person. What's this rookie really like? Yeah, sure, James. Uh, let's begin by telling your listeners at home the kid's name.
with the Champions League set to get underway here in the not too distant future, what an opportunity for so many players. And never mind the veterans that might be eyeballing a chance to get back or trying to get to the National Hockey League across the seas. How about as a youngster? I mean, scouts love youth. Management loves youth. And what an opportunity to shine. If you can fit, if you can have some success in this tournament, boy, this could really bode well for your hockey future and really pay off financially as well if you can have a strong showing. All right, we're going to break down, look at some of these teams that are involved in some of the head-to-head -head matchups, and we'll do that in a moment. go when you look at the opportunities that present itself here for so many teams chasing the Champions League title you know how about from a youngster standpoint for a kid who might be draft eligible this is playing in a tournament against grown-ups against men you have a strong tournament your draft stock could go through the roof and really hit a home run financially and move up those draft rankings We'll take a look at some of those key names to watch here. Our draft analyst is going to drop by a little later on in the show. join us still looking for our first goal the Indians get a hold of the puck off the draw Geneva's looking to break out of their own end looking to make something happen in the offensive zone cuts to the paint big save Gottenberg's got the puck along the wall he's got a step and he comes up with a big stop on the breakaway. Almost like the shooter waited and waited and the opening never came. Closes the gap along the wall. Takes the pass. Scores! The home team's on the board. And that is a textbook start. 
for a home team. Get the early first goal. Make the road guys start to chase you. Geneva's got a 1-0 lead, and they've got their crowd on their feet here. Early on, the entertainment is here. Early lead for the home team. The first goal in the first five minutes, and now you push for another one. There's the whistle. Oh, well, that didn't take long. Yeah, early in the game, looks like each team trying to get an upper hand. And down he goes, pretty much bringing an end to this one. Yeah, he was in control of this fight the entire way. Champions League's officially underway. Game number one in the books. And look at this youngster who there are a lot of eyes. There was a lot of hype and getting a lot of buzz from a draft stock standpoint. And I'll tell you what, if he continues to play like this throughout the tournament, his stock will go through the roof. And you keep in mind, here's the difference for kids playing junior back in North America. Now, this youngster is doing it against men. And if you're holding your own and then some against men as a teenager, boy, that's next level. And his draft stock could go sky high. All right, we'll take a look at some of these other scores around the league. Along with Ray Ferraro, we are so looking forward to the action on this one tonight. This one's still anybody's series here, Ray. This is really a game seven. It's, since the first game is tied in an aggregate scoring system, obviously, whoever wins tonight is going to have more goals. This is pressure-filled hockey. here on the opening draw and we are underway passes ahead 
man from the right side. Receives the pass. Denies him in close. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Gottenberg's got a hold of it against the wall. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. All alone! And can't convert! Can't convert, James. He doesn't even get a shot. He might as well dump it in the corner and keep the forecheck going. Down the right side and into the zone. Oh, smart heads off play to poke that one away. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Cutting to the front of the net. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Geneva's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Geneva's got it across the line. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Oh, you could feel that from up here. And now he moves it quickly to AJ. Can't find his man. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Moves the puck. Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. And he gains the zone here. Couldn't connect on that pass. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Hammers the shot. Denies him. He got all of it. Geneva's got a hold of it along the wall. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Geneva's got the puck along the wall. Here he is in close. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Power play has expired. Hey, I think I killed two penalties in my life. Looked to me like the penalty killers did a good job there. They didn't really give up anything. Past the midway mark of the frame. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. AJ's moving the puck through his own zone. They go on the attack through center. Nice pass. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Clearing attempt. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Across the line. The Indians have possession shorthanded. Geneva's got possession at center. On the attack along the boards. From the slot, fires away. And he denied that opportunity. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Here's an offensive chance. A howitzer! That's blocked! Geneva's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Right in front with the shot! Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. And he takes a shot! Blocked by the defender, nice play. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Gottschenberg's back to even strength. Gets it out of his own end. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Sends it over to AJ. They've got the defense outnumbered. Stopped by the blocker. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Taken by Richard. Sends the pass over. Geneva's got the puck in the defensive end. That pass doesn't go. Across the point. Booming shot! What an opportunity! He puts it high. Looking to pop the water bottle off the top of the net. He shoots it too much over the top. Fails to find the open man. And he makes the save.
here in the late goings of the period. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway. It's been a tightly contested affair this far as the period comes to an end. Disappointing exit from the Champions League, I think, for everybody. And this team just was flat. And and I look at the youngster, and, and he didn't exactly set the world on fire in this tournament either. Hey, look, it's a different sort of animal playing in the Champions League. It's one thing to get accustomed to playing in, the in your own domestic league. It's a whole other thing when now, all of a sudden, every night or every time you're going out in a Champions League matchup, it's a best or a top-notch European club. You got to deal with that. And it seemed a little overwhelming for him in this one. But I'll tell you this much. I'm still a fan of the kid's game. I still like what he can offer. Bit of an adjustment here, and I think he'd like to have a better showing here in the Champions League, but I'm still a fan of his game going forward. Time for a quick break. I want to dive into a few other stories that are making headlines. We saw how the Champions League tournament played out, and it was clearly the kid's far from his finest moment. And I think scouts certainly saw that as well, as his draft stock's taken a hit. But mark my words, having watched him over the course of the year, someone's going to land a really good player, whoever takes him. And I have a funny feeling that what there's going to be more than a few teams that are going to pass on him that are going to regret the decision of passing on him. You watch. We'll revisit this conversation five years from now, if anybody actually remembers this moment. This kid's going to be a heck of a player in the National Hockey League. Mark my words. All right, still to come, we're going to continue our draft coverage here as we lead up closer and closer. Our special draft analyst will join us next. you look at what some people are reporting on social media ray uh the ducks are supposed to meet with this kid here do you see a fit with the quack attack can be um i i never really know how much they get out of the um out of the interviews maybe a nugget here or a nugget there but i i'm always interested when teams zone in on one player yeah, I mean, putting a lot of stock, obviously, in, in that particular case, and we'll wait and to see if uh, that ultimately comes to light. You know, I'll tell you what, if you're looking for uh, a late selection in the draft, and if you want to find kind of a diamond in the rough, I'm going back to this kid, and, and I would jump all over him. I think his stock obviously took a hit, but he was talked about, he was hyped up for a reason. There are abilities to this kid that...
NHL Super Agent Taylor Mackey joins us here on the line who represents the hottest, most anticipated prospect in years. Taylor, give us the 411 on the kid here. Hey, morning, James. Well, look, you may not believe this, but the kid's up here on Carter Lake. What? Playing pickup, yeah, with a bunch of other kids. Just, it's a beautiful day. Pricey pond hockey you got going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. But look, that's how much this kid loves the game, man. Well, just safety first up there. Now, of course. I, I got to ask you, we, we've seen the scouting reports, we've seen the highlights, but we know about the player. But tell me more about the person. What's this rookie really like? Yeah, sure, James. Uh, let's begin by telling your listeners at home the kid's name. Since the crack of 
better to talk about the upcoming Memorial Cup than a guy who's actually hoisted the trophy, Ray Ferraro. Does that conjure up some memories there for you? Yeah, you bet it does. What a what an awesome time in your career. You, it's the most important games that you've played in your life, really, until that time. And now for most of these players, it, it'll be the biggest games they ever play. But there's also NHL scouts here. There's draft rankings on the line. This is a fantastic tournament to play in. 1983 has been a few years. Do you still remember the moment, though? I do, because it turned out, uh, as it turned out, rather, that's the only tournament we ever won. The only one I was ever on the winning side of. Well, let's look at this year's edition, because one of the, one of the players that a lot of people... We're getting closer to puck drop for this Memorial Cup in game one here. We bring Ray Ferraro back into the fold, and boy, the scout cams should be on full display tonight, won't they? Yeah, there'll be a bunch of people wearing black jackets. That's what the scouts wear, and they'll be sitting up in the corners of the rink watching these players really closely. Now, they've got a book pretty much on every player by this point in the season, but these are... He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome to our EA Sports Showdown here tonight. Ray Ferraro's down between the benches. Razor, what are you hearing down there? Well, two different things, really. The home team's talking about maintaining a four-check, controlling the puck down low, get some zone time. The visitors are talking about pucks to the net, traffic in front of the goaltender, try to make it difficult for him. We're still in the early stages of this period. Colonus ahead, 1-0. Play resumes as the puck is dropped. With possession along the wall. Nice poke check. Kitchener's got the puck along the boards. AJ's got it into offensive territory. Colonna's looking to break out. Palmer's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Rangers will serve two minutes in the box. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Colonna sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. If you can find a way to get a power play goal here, you can change the momentum of this game. They haven't got one yet tonight, and you find yourself starting to press when you don't score. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Rangers win the draw. Moves it on over to AJ. Carries it across the line. They've got numbers. Rips it. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. Takes control of the puck. Dishes it to AJ. Blazing in on the breakaway. Oh, what a stop on the breakaway. Good speed to break ahead of the pack. He thinks he's got the goalie beat, but shut down. That's a great stop. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. The setters will glide into the dot. AJ's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Wow. He scores! Just how he drew it up there, Ray. Oh, yeah, he's that accurate shot the thing and it went off the post and in. See the goalie's hoping for the best here. This shot beats him clean but it hits the goal post. Unfortunately it bounces into the net. One's won it. Puck picked up in the open ice. Taken along the wall by foot. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. The Rangers will play it in their own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. From the slot, now takes a shot, denies him with the save. 
Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Colonna's grabbed a hold of the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Kitchener's in now. Got a step. Great save. Oh, I thought he was going to beat him, but the goalie comes up large. This was a dangerous slap shot here. Scoring chance, but the goalie makes the save. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. It's all tied up. The Rockets win it in the defensive zone. Kitchener's won the draw. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Kitchener's gained possession along the boards. And he comes up with the save. And a successful clearing attempt. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in their own end. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. What a stop by the goaltender. He's right in position as he follows the shooter and snuffs that chance away. Here in the later stages of this period, we got a tie game. The Rangers win the faceoff. Turns it away. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. The centermen glide into position. AJ's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Well, that probably would work a little better if the stick stayed in one piece. No luck in that stick. Colonna's playing it through center. AJ's back in the zone. He was able to get a new stick from the bench. Across the line from center. Breakaway! Oh, and he missed the net! Oh, you gotta get it on the net. You gotta test the goalie. Let's it go! And that carries off a stick. Quick feed to AJ. Drives to the crease! The Rockets have it behind the cage. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Unloads a shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Kitchener's moving it along the wing. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Horn sounds bringing an end to what has been a pretty fun start to this one. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. And we are underway, still tied up here in the second. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Colonna's focus has to be getting more pucks to the net. They really didn't do much in that first period. The Rockets have it against the wall. Up the neutral zone now. Moves it around along the half wall. The Rangers gain possession in their own end. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Blocked in traffic. Stops some cold. Colonna's got it in their own zone. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Another chance here on the man advantage. You gotta have a short memory on a power play. You haven't scored yet tonight, but that can't matter on this one. Get the puck back to the point, start moving it around, and get people converging at the net. Colon is gonna play it from the corner. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. Looking for space inside the D zone. Now he takes it over the line. Here they are on the attack. And he stands tall in goal. That pass goes a little sideways. Colonna's got a hold of the puck. The Rockets will play it from the defensive zone. Wrist shot from the slot, and that's blocked away. AJ's got it on the offensive end. He's got a step. Scores! Now you got the lead. Don't sit back. 
get right back to the face off and try and attack again. You want money, you go to the bank. You want bread, you go to the store. You want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Kitchener's been a better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Really good quick up from the defenseman. Here's a shot. Denies him on the slopper. Can't catch up to the pass. Puck scooped up by foot. And he's going after him here. It's go time. That's a clear decision there. The Rangers gain the upper hand in this fight, and now we'll see if they can produce some offense while the momentum has been gained. Upcoming face-off here, and this crowd still buzzing after what we saw just a few moments ago. Kitchener's got it in the offensive zone. And that pass goes awry. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The Rangers are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. Kelowna's got it in their own zone. Picking up some steam at center ice. Handles the puck. Takes the feed. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. McPherson's lugging the puck. Steps inside. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Shot. Turns him away. Feeds it over to foot. From the right side, they gain the zone. Sends a pass over. Goalie with a stop. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Penalty to number 37. Two minutes for tripping. Time Ray, it looks like tripping. Minutes, it's amazing how coaches get angry with a tripping penalty, but they don't seem to say much if it's a boarding penalty. It's still two minutes. Two is two, yeah. What just seems lazier, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to hit... All alone! Oh, what a chance! Oh, he's got to bury that. In his own mind, he's going to kick himself for missing that. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove! Nothing doing on that. There's another stop! Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back-to-back. Foot's got the puck in his own zone. With the steal. Moves the puck up to A.J. Couldn't complete the play. Dumped into the opposite corner. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Denies him with the save. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Gains the zone on the left wing. Quick pass to foot. Let's it go, and he comes up with it. Here in the late goings of the period, it's 2-1. The Rockets will go to work here in the offensive zone. Point shot, and that goes off a player. He's got a little jump. Makes a move in front. Denies him. Oh, excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. Kitchener's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. 
period is now underway in this very tightly contested affair so far. Wow, complete. And here comes the pushback. And this shot, James, is so late. I don't really know what he's thinking. He rifles it at the goalie. You're going to get somebody coming right up to you after that. he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. The Rangers win that fight. They'll get a little juice from it. Not so much for the home side. Let's set it back down to Ray Ferraro between the benches. Ray, it's like one team missed their wake-up call here tonight. Yeah, pretty sluggish, and they have not been good from the first time the puck hit the ice. The coach has gone to the rookie, and he wants him to see if he can energize this team. Young legs, young enthusiasm, something has to turn. Slides the puck over. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Move to the middle! Here's a shot! Oh, just inches wide! Doesn't miss it by much, James. That's a really good shot, but he's got to get it on the net. His reflexes on display tonight. AJ's efforts have to be towards creating offense. He gets stopped there, but I like the fact that he's back to doing what he's supposed to do. The fight is in the past, and he doesn't need to be doing that very often. The Rangers slide it through center. Not able to connect. Colonna's got control of it now from their own end. The Rockets move the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Shot, and puck goes wide. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. To the front. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. The Rockets move it in. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Swing and a miss. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Chance in front. He scores! Oh, the old double dip makes this a fantastic night for you. You know it's your night. You're feeling it. And now he's got two. He pounded this low stick side. The goalie can't get his pad on it. It's in the net. The rookie's had a really good game, and he gets a little tap from the coach as he comes back to the bench. That doesn't happen very often. Pretty satisfying when you know the boss is happy with you. We've called his name multiple times. He's been all over the ice tonight. Kitchener's insurance marker has really widened the gap here in the back half of the third. And now it turns into a little bit of a free-for-all. They're comfortable with their two-goal lead, but the other guys, you know they're going to be pressing the play, trying to get back in it. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Takes it at center. AJ's had a great game. He's out. He scores! That's three on the road. I can't imagine too many hats being tossed, though, here. No, there's not going to be. I mean, this is a terrific game for him. He's got three, and you're right. On the road, nobody's throwing their bucket. Two parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot, good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. The Rangers have really opened it up here in the third period. Impressive offensive performance. It's coming from everybody. They've kept their foot on the gas. It's been in a relentless offensive attack. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it to Lee and makes the save. Slides the puck across to AJ. Takes it into the slot. Kitchener's got the puck now. Here he is, shot right in front. He was locked in there. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. The Rangers wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. 
Kitchener's looking to break out. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Late goings of this period. Kitchener's been showing relentless pressure lately. Now up by three. The Rangers win the draw. Puts it towards the net. Denied by the defender. He might have a step here. He's in the clear. Denies him on the breakaway. Shot completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got him. Breakaway. Big save. I know you like goals, Ferraro, but that was impressive. Yeah, great. Good. Nice save, pal. <laughs> oh, Kitchener's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. AJ's won the draw. This incredibly one-sided contest finally reaches its final minute. Colonna's got possession while undermanned. In the third period. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Rocked him in the open ice. Kitchener's got the puck along the wall. Here he is in the open ice. On the breakaway. Great stop by the goaltender. Positioning and quickness. That's the day right there. They're swarming here. Off target. Moves it quickly over to AJ. Denies that opportunity. 32 seconds left on the clock. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. The goalie gets himself out of any potential trouble by depositing that rebound into the corner. He scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. The power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. Kitchener's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to AJ. He's got a step. Huge stop on the breakaway. Oh, you don't get many of these. He's right in on goal, but the goalie's better. A chance. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And we are all over with this one. Well, you look at the final stats here, James, and they had more shots on goal. They had a very comfortable lead. It seemed like they had the puck and the game in control most of the night. They looked like a firing squad out there, and the difference was they converted on many of those. Phenomenal performance. Did you to talk a little more about what we saw on the ice as Ray Ferraro and Razor? I mean, what does that do for his draft stock? Oh man, it'll uh, it'll put a rocket to it if he continues to play in this tournament like that. The scouts are going to get more and more interested. Also, a little more jittery as they might have had a player slotted in a certain area of the draft. He plays like that. He's going to jump a couple of spots in the draft for sure. This is really an important start to the tournament for him. Yeah, and this is where kind of all of a sudden the, the, the stocks kind of rise and fall here, right?
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We are so excited to bring you all the action here on EA Sports tonight. Set to drop the puck, we go to the man with a great perspective between the benches, our own Ray Ferraro. James, we know that these two teams are going to play quickly. The pace will be really high. And it's an old cliche, but the team that's going to do well is going to protect the puck well. They're going to minimize their turnovers. It's tough to get in trouble when you got your hands on the puck. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Puck is dropped. Let's do this hockey. Knocked away. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Kitchener's got a hold of the puck off the draw. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. The Winterhawks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Portland's on the attack. Here's a chance right in the slot. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. High quality chance, high quality save. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 Denies him! No, he's going to be disappointed with that effort, James. The goalie beats him cold. Gains the zone through the middle. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a shot, and he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Moves it over to AJ. Into the offensive end now. Quick shot, and he gets a paddle on that one. Still lots of time left in the period. We've still got zeros on the board. Kitchener's won the faceoff. Here's a short pass to AJ. Makes the save! The Rangers slide the puck near the point. Find some space in the corner. Right in the slot, and that one's blocked! And now he tries to get it across to AJ. Here he is from the slot, denies him! You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. And the goaltender covers things up. All sorts of frantic action in front of the net. Yeah, everybody's scrambling around trying to help what's happening. Everybody's getting out of position. They needed some help. They got it from the goaltender. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. The Winterhawks have it now. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick feed to Nolan. Here's a chance. Makes the save. Kitchener's got a hold of it against the wall. Portland's got the puck here in the open ice. The Winterhawks carry it along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Couldn't make that one happen. Kitchener's in all alone. Big time stop on the break. Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Kitchener's looking to break out of their own end. Portland's gained possession. Strong defensive effort. Denied by the goaltender. Gets it over to AJ. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Portland's got the puck. Kitchener's got a hold of it along the wall. Blocker save. No, it's in. It's in. Looks like he had it, but not the case. Wow, did he hammer that? Too much power for the goalie to control, and it hits him and still goes in. The Rangers are now in the enviable position of playing in front. Once you get in front, you can maybe dictate a little bit about the way the game will be played, and that's a good place to be. The Winterhawks win it. And with 
with the sound of the horn, that means the conclusion of period number one. The Rangers in front by a score of 1-0. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, team that giveaway might be And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the official set to drop the puck here on period number two. Coming to the slot, wide to the net. He misses by a large margin. He's right in the middle of the ice. And all alone on the breakaway. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net. Once you escape the pack, it's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. He's trying to read you, you're trying to read him. The shooter wins this time. Kitchener's now gone up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two-goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, right? Of course it is. The Rangers will play it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to AJ. He's got a step on a breakaway. And that's the hat trick. Listen to this place. And here come the hats. I love this tradition, although I will tell you, they collect the hats up. They used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. I like the way he went about this. Nice move on the breakaway to get into the clear. And then he beats the goalie, taking advantage of a great opportunity. I like this by the coach here, James. He's gone to his youngest player, the rookie, and he's reminding him to play safe at this time of the game. You got the lead. You don't necessarily need another goal. You don't need turnovers. And as I tell my kids, Razor, safety never takes a holiday. The Rangers seem to be on the cusp of turning this one into a rout, Ray. They're playing at a different level than their opponents. It doesn't look like there's anything that can slow them down. Kitchener's got the puck in the defensive end. And it's a quick pass to AJ. Into the attacking area from the left side. From point blank, scores! This is unbelievable! It's turning into a lot for four straight goals for them as they take total control of this game. Really quick puck movement always helps when you've got the extra man. The defenders just don't catch up to it and it ends up in the net. The Rangers have been the busier team offensively tonight. They've dominated in their own end, haven't given up anything, and scored almost at will at the other. Goes right to the crease! Big time stop there! Works it across to AJ. Some great thievery in the open ice. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Maintains possession. Oh! He's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Scoops up the puck now. And he passes it up ahead to AJ. Unable to reach that one. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Into the corner. Snaps one on net. Big time stop. Takes the puck along the boards. Portland's got it behind the net. With the stop. Takes the feed from his netminder. Nice dish from the left wing. All alone. AJ's. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. It's like he almost deeped himself out. There was nowhere to go with him. The goalie makes the save. And he connects with the long bomb. He saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass.
Here in the back half of this period, Kitchener's turned this into a blowout, now leading by four. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Play whistle dead because of an offside. The Winterhawks have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Stretch pass from the right wing. He moves into the middle. AJ's hat trick's already in the pass, but I don't think he's finished for tonight. Portland's got it in their own zone. Puck dumped in. Kitchener's gained possession along the boards. Nice feed from the right wing. Takes it to the net. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Throws it in. Kitchener's got the puck along the boards. The Rangers will play it from the defensive zone. Here's an odd man rush. Takes a shot. Blocker save. Here he is in front, and they can't connect. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Here he is, wrists it on net. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Up, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Rangers came out with jump, and they have been non-stop right from the start, leading 4-0. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. It's about to go down, period number three. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Rangers have been terrific through 40 minutes. Now a comfortable lead that they'll just try to ease their way into the finish line. Takes the shot, and he says no! This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice. But the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Rangers lead it 4-0. They have dominated. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. It's in! He scores! The defensive centerman can't lose the draw like this. When he does, that creates the scoring chance. It's right in the net. Portland's going to switch things up between the pipes. The Rangers are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they've built such a large margin. You can use your whole bench and coast it in. Kitchener's got the puck along the wall. Nice zone entry from the middle. Breakaway! Denies him on the breakaway! Really good speed to get out in front. Dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie. But the goalie's better. He makes a stop. The Rangers have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. The Winterhawks take possession off the faceoff. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Takes the feed. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Kitchener's got it in their own zone. AJ swooping in on the attack. Chance right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on this one. Oh, there it is. He scores! All over the rebound. And he taps it in.
Well, he was brought into the game here to provide some relief in goal. No relief provided there. He gets beat. Back downstairs before the next faceoff, we get to Ray Ferraro. Ray? Well, the kid comes back after his last shift, and he gets a tap from the coach because he's done a good job. The coach gave him some specific instructions, and it's not always easy to carry him out, but he was letter perfect. The Rangers have been enjoying pad the stat night here. It's been going all night long here, even in the third. They came to play tonight. They have not let their opponent breathe, and it has been a dominating performance. Stones up with the blocker. Scoops up the puck here. Takes the pass. Into the offensive zone. On the backhand. Scores. Wow. Man, you've said that a lot with this guy. It's like every time he gets on the ice, the puck ends up in the back of the net. What a night. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. Kitchener's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side where this night has been a nightmare. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Now a quick pass to AJ. Moves inside! Poked away! Here he is in front! Another stop by the goaltender. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Takes the pass from the left wing. Too much congestion in front. The Rangers have it against the wall. Kitchener's got it against the boards. Drives to the sweet spot. Scores! His second of the night. Well, things go well for you if you're scoring multiple times in a game. This has been a terrific night for him. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Rangers have really been strutting their offensive prowess. You've been impressed tonight? I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. Quick pass to AJ. Right in front of the net. He scores! Three goals. The hat trick's in the bag. Here come the hat. What a great feeling as this place is jumping. Followed through to the net. He picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. Kitchener's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Blocked in front. Kitchener's got a hold of the puck. Over the line they come. Wrist shot from the slot. He scores! This might be a where were you moment for so many of these fans. And again, he gets a chance on goal and he makes no mistake about it. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Rangers have not stopped the firepower display tonight. You impressed down there? It's like they're going downhill the whole game. And the, their opponent hasn't been able to keep up at any level tonight. And a poke check knocks the puck away. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Gains the zone through center. Moves it to AJ. And there's the save.
Legenders up big time here in the late stages of this third period. AJ's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. And that shot dies in traffic. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. From the blue line, here's a chance to set up now. That is why hockey players are warriors. What a block. The winner Hawks move the puck in the defensive zone. And less than a minute to go finally in this one. With the stop. Ah, that's a good save there, James. It looks rather simple, but he gets the puck into the corner. No danger. It is all over. An impressive shutout tonight. They say it comes easy for some. This has been a lot of hard work coming here, Ray. Yeah, in between the last couple of games, he worked extra hard with the goaltending coach. He put him through some drills. They really worked on his form and trying to stay square to the puck. Obviously, he got it done tonight. As the old saying goes, on to the next one, on to the next one. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next tournament showdown next time.
As we bring Ray Ferraro back into the show, how are you, sir? All good. Awesome. All good. Uh, you know, we've talked so much about kind of the, the draft rankings. Uh, what do you make of the kids so far here in this tournament? Well, it's uh, it's an interesting time for a kid going into, uh, you know, into his draft that he now knows is just a, a month or so away. I, I think he's played well enough that his draft stocks probably climbed a little bit. It puts himself into into the position to be a higher selection in the draft. I, I would say upper end of the first round is where, where I think I can picture him. Yeah, no, I certainly like the way he's played. You know, a couple of other players we've been keeping close to him. Moment of truth, you've won a Memorial Cup. What's the message you're saying in the room? Oh man, well we win it. I mean everybody is is so pumped. It's like it's the it's the peak of the mountain for a junior player. You will never play games as important of, as this at this age. And so, man, they um, they'll look to their young players. They'll look to the surprisingly to their draft eligible players that really have a chance to make a mark both in this tournament and in their draft status. So here we go. Big game. We got you covered. Welcome back, everyone. Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski. The EA Sports broadcast team is fired up to bring you this one here tonight. So privileged to be part of this tonight, the Memorial Cup. What does it mean to you, Ray? Well, I remember back to playing in it with Portland in 1983. We won that tournament. But it is likely the biggest game that most of these kids will ever get to play. A championship. It's on TV. It's on EA. And you got to go win it. Puck is dropped. We're underway. Give me a sense of what something a win here can do for the kids. Well, of course, if from a team standpoint, you win the Memorial Cup individually. Those players that are draft eligible, they can change their draft status. Those that are already drafted, they can maybe change the way the team that drafted them thinks about them. Cuts into the paint. Stones him in front. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Moves it to Jarvis. Portland's moving it up the ice. The Winterhawks take it along the wall. Kitchener's looking to break out at center ice now. He grabs the puck, takes a shot, he scores! Man, this kid is a goal scorer. He's been one his whole life. And even when he gets to the Memorial Cup, it doesn't take him but a moment. And he's on the board. He swept this one up over the goalie's glove. The room wasn't there until the goalie dropped into the butterfly, maybe a little early, opened up some space up top. Kitchener's execution on the offensive end pays off quickly, Ray. Didn't take them long, did it? They're attacking quickly. They capitalize on an opportunity, and now they can play the game from in front. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 1-0 the score. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Rangers have it now. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. The setters will glide into the dot. Kitchener's got possession here in their own end. Drives to the paint! He grabs the puck here at the point. Takes that pass back at the point. 
All right, while we have a quick second, let's bring in our third member of the broadcast crew, our own Carlin Bade. Thank you, James. The energy in this building is so intense right now. It's the Memorial Cup final, and there's nothing like it. Fans are loving this rookie's performance. It's been electric in here all day. Even outside the arena, it was great as play rolls on. That's wide of the net. Tries to feed it over to AJ. Here's a chance from point blank range. Makes the save. Right positioning looked easy. Slides the puck across. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Well past the midway mark of this period, we got a tie game. And a solid job tying up his opponent. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. The Winterhawks will play it in their own end. Here's a shot. There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. What a great effort on the shorthanded goal here. As the game is tied, you're trying to prevent them from scoring. You get a break, you take advantage. Well done. The Rangers have the go-ahead goal. What's the approach now? Shouldn't change at all, James, because there's too much time left. Be aggressive and try and stretch the lead to two. Portland's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. In the final moments of this period, Kitchener's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. And they manage to clear it. Takes the puck behind the net. Hammers it on net. Oh, comes up with a stop. The Winterhawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Takes it across the blue line. The Rangers gain control of it. Through the middle of the ice thing. He's got a step. Oh, misses the net. Oh, man, he's got to get it on the net. The thing's been in the same place for 100 years. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. Penalty to number 10, AJ. The Rangers are being called for tripping. I always found this a frustrating penalty to take. There's really no aggression to it. You're trying to steal the puck, but you end up clipping the guy down. There's the horn ending the first period. It went back and forth, and it's a close one here. A reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the feeding area and cause serious... Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, is also set. Let's do this. The Winterhawks win possession here as we open up the period, and that power play is... Moving it ahead. AJ's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Receives the pass. Moves it quickly over to O'Brien. It's almost like one team forgot to show up tonight here. 
Well, they're getting here. They're slowly getting to the game, and the coach has just about lost his patience with them. They need it now, and he's gone to the rookie to see if he can help spark them. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Directs it on over to AJ. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Shuts him down on the breakaway. Really good save as the shooter thought he had an opening, but it's turned aside. AJ's played so well in this point streak, you know he wants to pile on it. The centerman glide into position. The Rangers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Nothing happening on the miss. Oh, he's got to get it on the target. He scores! It's in! And that's three, Ray! I think he's the most surprised guy in the building. Look at the way he reacted when that puck went into the net. Outstanding effort. he deliver that quickly the goalie doesn't even really get a chance to catch up to it it's pretty rare when you play a game and in the middle of the game the coach gives you a pat and says you're doing a great job but the rookie has been excellent tonight james he got an assignment early we heard him talking to the coach about it and he's delivered He's been absolutely excellent. We call his name a bunch tonight. The Rangers win possession here in the open ice. Nothing doing on that. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Well, the kid's not going to get on the ice again without an earful, that's for sure. Too many penalties have run the coach's patience dry. He's getting a reminder before he goes back on the ice. Yeah, not a pretty one, and a pretty one-sided conversation looks like from this vantage point up here. The Winterhawks win the faceoff. Moves the puck. Kitchener's got a hold of it against the wall. Cuts to the front. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Oh, he'll feel that one. Grabs the puck in the corner. Stopped by the goaltender. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Rangers are looking to build on this one goal lead. AJ has won the draw here in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Big time stop. Here's a chance. Way too much congestion blocks that. Gains the zone from the right. The Rangers look to start the transition game. Cutting to the front of the net. Stop that one. Sharp reaction save. Keeps hold of the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We are all tied up in this one. The Winterhawks win the draw here in the neutral zone. Not able to connect. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. things down and gets control of it once again lets the wrister fly gives them nothing in front and now he moves it to AJ and that's just out of reach here's an offensive chance can't connect Portland's got the puck inside the defensive zone looking dangerous as they move along the boards and the puck leaves the zone Kitchener's got a hold of it along the wall 
Slides it diagonally to AJ. Picking up ahead of steam. Oh, the breakaway! Puts it in for the go ahead goal! Control the game now. You finally got to lead. You've worked so hard to.
he looked really confident. Once he got out ahead of the pack, he looked like he knew what he was doing. I'm not so sure he did, but he finished it off beautifully. Kitchener's timing couldn't be better here late in this second to go ahead by one. The break's not that far away, and they want to make sure they go into it with the same lead they have now. That pass doesn't go. Portland's gotten the puck at the defensive end. 17 minutes, 28 seconds. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. There's the whistle stopping play penalty coming up here. Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your no, mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. Well, not exactly a banner night for the goaltenders as the second period comes to an end. At least they'll get a breather here. Fans tonight are going to be the point of being dropping. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Savolsky, Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. The Winterhawks start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Quick snap! Oh, and it goes off the stick! Lots of time left in this period. The Rangers have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight. They lead it 4-3. Grabs the puck. Nice pass. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Jarvis is brought down. A penalty on the way. Long pass across the ice. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Rangers are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. I guess it's a little bit of bad luck, James. I mean, he's reaching for the puck. He's in position to try and keep the play moving, but he trips him up. Portland's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. A well-deserved power play coming up here looking for the tying goal. They've been really pushing hard, and they drew this penalty through that hard work. Overshot it! Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. The Winterhawks have been the better team tonight, but they still trail on the scoreboard early in this third period. The Rangers win the draw. Here's a short pass to AJ. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Rangers win it. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Let's it go. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Hangs onto the puck. Hammers a shot, comes up with a stop. Lots of time left in this period. The Rangers lead it 4-3. Langdon's won the draw. Quick shot. Oh, and post it in. Great shot. The goalie thinks he's got his angle covered, and I guess he's got most of it. But it hits the inside of the post and goes in. Play resumes. Offside is the call. We'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. That puck's got to be moved a little quicker there, James, as they're moving up to the blue line. Get it out of your hand so nobody goes offside. AJ's won it. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Kitchener's looking to break out. And now he angles it across to A.J. 
Kitchener's in transition. Here's a chance. Brilliant save. Read it perfectly. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Rangers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Pass to Jarvis. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Kitchener's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to AJ. The Rangers will play it against the wall. The Winterhawks have it from their own end. Across the line from center. Quick shot. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Tries to the crease. Puts it on goal. And that goes off the player in front. Sends the pass over. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. win it quick pass to AJ and he totally whiffs on that one moves into the slot Portland's got control of it now from their own end through the open ice they're picking up steam and skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away and the lanes clogged up blocking that sends it ahead to AJ Portland's got the puck in their own end The Winterhawks move to the offensive zone. Into the corner of the attacking area. AJ's got it in the defensive end. Kitchener's moving the puck through center ice. They've got the defense outnumbered. Gets a puddle on it to make the save. The setters will glide into the dot. Kitchener's won the faceoff. Takes a shot, and that banks off a stick. The Winterhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Handles the pass from the right wing. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Takes the feed. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Portland's gained possession along the boards. Feeds it to O'Brien. Portland's got the puck against the boards. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. And another stop. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. That'll do it, and man, oh man, what a special night. One of the toughest trophies to win, the Memorial Cup champs. I won it one year in Portland. It was the last time I won anything. <laughs> Ray, you got a much better look down at ice level, but man, the emotion that I'm seeing from this vantage point, losing sucks and winning sure is awesome. Well, it's pretty easy to tell the two apart, and <laughs> yeah. I don't really want to walk over to the loser side right now. They're pretty disappointed. They got their heads down. They can be proud of their effort, but that's not going to make them feel good right now. So you don't want to tell the guys in the truck right now that you want the loser assignment right now? No, that's not for me. Okay, I guess that's me again. Can't always be easy for one end of the ice, but love the R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Man, it's so hard to go through there and try to be respectful to the guys that have just beaten you. But really, it is a great tradition that I think enhances the sport. This never gets old at any age group, but when this is your living, when this is your life, boy, this has got to be special, getting the trophy. Well, to hoist it up over your head, to have all your teammates celebrate with you, what an amazing feeling it has to be.
Oh, I love this. This is just awesome to watch play out here as they pass the trophy around. This actually started as an accident that the trophy was held up for the first time by Ted Lindsay. And then now it's a regular thing. Just think, if that accident hadn't happened, we wouldn't have this great celebration that we see now. You know, working with you, you've always said you get a little jealous when you see the other teams win the championship. This is where I'd get jealous in these well, pictures. look how happy they yeah. are. I mean, it's... incredible story as we continue the conversation with Ray Ferraro. Okay, beyond just the team performance, how about the kid? Well, the fact that they won and he played uh, a major role in it is going to shine a pretty bright light on him with the with the scouting community. And uh, there's always two roads to this tournament. One is the team aspect. The other is those that are evaluating for the draft. And this kid did his draft status a world of good. He was sensational. Uh, that puts a bow on this year. Uh, thanks for this, man. Yeah, I'll talk to you next year. <laughs> Don't miss me too much. I won't. Channel your inner bird dog here. What did you think of the kid as a performance at the Memorial Cup? Liked it a lot. Um, really bullish on the way that he played. He, For a young player, he, he took a leadership role. He was playing important minutes uh, through this tournament. And pretty, pretty interesting to see how much they leaned on him. Uh, for me, this is a, a kid I would take high in the draft. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that one. And the performance certainly backed that up. Thanks for this. the weekend at the combine the kid had a very lengthy interview with the new york rangers and think about what the rangers have done with the youth movement over the last couple of years very intriguing scenario for them with the rangers suddenly into the mix and could you imagine him in a blue shirt ah oh, original six team that's uh, not a bad fit right there in my opinion uh, a couple of other scenarios that are kind of playing out in some of the So 
from what I'm hearing coming out of the Combine this past weekend, the Los Angeles Kings were said to have a very good conversation with the youngster. Now, where does that look like? How does that all evolve in Hollywood and the kid? I mean, is there a fit there? I don't mind it. We'll see how it all plays out because there's a lot of moving parts between now and draft day. But the Kings said to be very high on uh, on the youngster here from what I'm hearing. Okay, still to come here on the show, joined by one of the top draft fans. Well, as we inch closer and closer to the big draft day, and I'll tell you what, we look at some of the draft rankings and some of the scouts that I've talked to, I think we're all kind of on the same page. We've got this kid ranked pretty high, and he has put himself in a position to be a very high selection in that first round when we get to draft day. Keep an eye on him. Mark my words. Anybody who passes on him may be regretting this.